My name is Jim Bell. I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon with Des Orthopedic Center. One of my areas that I work in is joint replacement. And uh, we've made several advancements in the last several years as far as our procedures in dealing with joint replacement in the, in the knee. Part of the changes that we do have come across is that sometimes people don't need a total knee replacement. They may need only a partial. Other things that we have done, which have recently, I've seen articles about that people are becoming more aware of, is we use a long-acting anesthetic, which we inject around the knee joint as we're finishing up the surgery. And that helps patients also um, do quite well postoperatively, require a lot less pain medication that they take either orally or through the IV. And we've even changed how we will close the incision. A lot of times in the past, all we did was staple the skin closed. And now we've gone to using a, what we call a Dermabond tape, which just glues the skin back together. And people have done very well with this and uh, uh, seem to uh, appreciate the um, look of that scar much better. Using the latest technology, uh, Companies have developed a way of using the MRI to examine your knee and then make an exact custom fit prosthesis uh, to your knee. A key aspect of joint replacement, however, is postoperatively the physical therapy and the patient's willingness to move that joint and get the motion as well as the strength back. Uh, with a knee particularly, it's, it's somewhat difficult uh, to do the flexion and extension exercises, but it is key in their long-term success within the first few weeks to get full extension as well as flexion. And if patients are willing to do that, they, they need to understand they're, they're a key component in the joint replacement process in regaining that motion in their knee.